2019 National Female Volleyball Team is preparing for the Central American Under-19 Volleyball Championship. The tournament begins on Sunday night inside the Belize City Civic Center. I started when I was about seven or eight years old. At first, I did not like volleyball, but my mom, she pushed me to keep going to the practices and I grew to love the sport. I joined the volleyball team at my primary school and the same with my high school. And I kept playing and I've made national teams for the country. 18-year-old Avianca Avelas's passion and commitment to the discipline has earned her a spot on the national team as captain. Volleyball has helped to shape her personal life and leadership skills. I've learned a lot of skills to help me be independent, a lot of skills working with people and being a leader as well. You have to be sort of a role model for the other players. You have to offer guidance and as well as being able to bring the other players together on and off the court. 17-year-old Jevia Leslie is also competing in the upcoming tournament as a middle blocker for the Belize national team. She gave us some insight into the position she plays. So basically the middle blocker blocks on the right side, the left side and also the middle. You close in with the opposite and you close in with the left side hitter and you also have to block for the middle as well. So that has a lot to do with height as well, correct? That's true. It helps with, you know, marking the ball, covering and helping our team with the defense. So, you know, like most of those like really hard hits, we can get the opportunity to close up a block on it. You just have to like know timing. You have to know uh, the placement with the ball is all of that as well. It's not just because you can be tall and know how to jump up, but don't know how to mark the ball. or Don't know how to, you know, you have to be aware of all of those things as well. Team Belize will take on Panama on Sunday night in the first match. They are scheduled to take on Costa Rica on Tuesday night and Honduras on Wednesday night. What keeps uh, somebody like yourself dedicated to practice and to the sport at this level? I would definitely say having a relationship with God because um, a person like me, I didn't used to have a lot of patience, but you know, like prayer and worship and having family and friends that motivate you. That's, that's honestly the reason I can keep going. And my team as well, because you know, you see how hard these other teams play and you know, you want to be at that level and win gold. Cause Belize is my country and I would love to like work towards that. Tickets for the games are already on sale at the Belize City Civic Center. Coach Jose Fontes told us why it is important for fans to be present, to witness these games in person, and to cheer on the national team. It's very, very important to have the fans out here supporting us. And it's one big party, and the girls playing on the court is the music, and the fans are going to be dancing to that music. So we need them out here dancing, we need their support. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez. <laughs> welcome, welcome. <laughs> it is, of course, our second segment for uh, the day, and we have the U19 female uh, volleyball uh, team, Belize National Volleyball Team, here with us, along with President uh, Alan Sharp. Let's go around and introduce them. Yes, of course. of course. We have some beautiful faces yeah. this morning, starting with uh, right here to my left, uh, Miss Akili Jones. And um, do you want to state your position, Akili? I am an outside hitter. All right, of course. Here we have... Um, Jevia. 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 Yeah, yeah, do you want I'm to state your position? Um, I am a middle blocker and also an opposite. All right, and then beside you we have Miss Nissan. I am the middle blocker. Middle blocker. No idea what any of these things are. <laughs> but they're going to explain it to us right yeah. now as we are talking all things volleyball. You, know, you said it right, April. It's volleyball season. It's volleyball. Imagine that, Alan. Imagine they that. just coined it summer is. as volleyball it's season. It is. Isn't that like, fantastic? Yes, it is, it's right? <laughs> what do you think it. about the progress of yeah. volleyball throughout the past few years, pre and post COVID? Well, I mean, coming up to COVID, it was going very well. I remember in 2018, they, they, that was the first one at the Civic Center, Ram Jam Civic Center, and the girls did excellent. Um, beat Costa Rica for the first time in I don't know how many, many, many years that anybody beat them. Um, COVID did slow things down tremendously. Um, but coming out of that, everybody had to start over, all countries. 
And um, last year, uh, some of these girls were on that team, that U21 team that did excellent. Mm -hmm. and, and here we are again uh, with full intention of doing excellent again. You know, volleyball is one of the sports I feel that um, Belize excels in. And, and, and I think it's because of the, the determination, or at least the work that you guys are putting in. Uh, these girls, I understand, are locked off for like the past two to three weeks, just jamming. Well, they've been, well I, I'll let them explain, but they've been practicing real hard, mm -hmm. especially since uh, summer has started. But they've been, um, uh, a lot of them been together from last year um, and so forth, but I would prefer that they explain themselves and get, they're the stars, let them explain <laughs> all the things they go through. All right, ladies, all right. take yeah. it away. Akila, you start. Yeah. Um, well, we practice every day. Well, before summer, we usually practice once a day for two hours. But since summer has started, we've practiced twice a day. Mm. Oh. Wow. And what do these practices look like? Early mornings, late evenings? Well, now, yes. <laughs> um, in the summer, it has been early mornings and then late evenings into the night. Just working hard, playing hard. What does a... Uh an average day of practice look yeah. like? What do you start with? Um, we usually start with stretching, of course, and some, some dynamics or something to warm up with. And then we get into like ball warm up and we, we have like the setters and the liberals doing their own like separate work for themselves. Mm -hmm. And then the hitters, all the hitters will come together and pair up and ball warm up and prepare to practice their hitting and we practice with the block so that you know we can know how to move around the block eye. So you mentioned two things, a hitter and a, a block. and a blocker and a lip and a libero. libero yeah. yeah. What what are what is that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess you know a little bit. <laughs> what are those? What, what are what are they doing? Okay, so the libero is the defensive player in the back row of the court. They do they pick up the bigger hits. They play the free balls. They're more. They're the more aggressive player in the back row because they pass everything. Mm -hmm. Well, most of the balls. And then the setter is the person that usually gets the second touch ball. They, you know, they have different rotations when they're in the back, when they're in the top, yeah. and they set those beautiful sets yeah. and make us attack them. So that's their job. You know, I, 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 it's like when you go to these volleyball games, it's like. The art of it, and if you if you pay attention, you see how everybody goes up, and the the the, the athleticism of these of you guys, I, I, it's like whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's talk about that because you guys have done this already. Mm -hmm. You know what it is to compete internationally. Mm -hmm. How has it been this time around in terms of preparing? Um, considering that this is our first U19 tournament, it's a much more younger group. So it's definitely been an enjoyable experience considering that everybody has to work on specializing in what they can do and what they can offer on the court. So I believe that everyone has put in the work to do what they can do to help support each other and close it out. What do you play? What, what, what position do you the play? The middle locker. And how is that different from uh, Outside hitter, outside hitter, yeah, it's different because we focus like what Deborah said. We focus mainly on the front row instead of like the back row. I usually focus on blocking and hitting, driving, just making more opportunities for the people around me. Spiking at it, yeah, yeah, sure. spiking at it. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be. <laughs> she, you see that face? Yes, like, yes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, and it's so intense because. I, it's like the camaraderie, yeah? I, like one, the back up the next one, they're like nothing, no drop, you understand? Right. And, and I think that is what it, yes. it's intense. I, I almost would say like the females, the play as hard as the males, there's no... There's no shame in saying that out loud. But it's the <laughs> truth, it's the truth, you guys play really hard. Yeah. So like, I want to, I, I mean, you guys have, have competed before, but I want to know how long have you all been in this sport? Yeah. Ely? Well, this year, October, will make five years since I started playing volleyball. Wow. And you love volleyball? I don't know. I just, the sport <laughs> just gives me a sense of calm, and it's just a way to, for me to express myself. 
it's just something I grew to love after that 2018 tournament. I just yeah. fell in love. But, you know, she said calm. Yeah. I'm like, this is, there's nothing calm about this sport. No, <laughs> there's nothing I, calm about this sport. I it's about attack, attack, attack. I can't play volleyball, so I'm just going to take her word for it. <laughs> yeah, Jeva. Well, I've been playing volleyball, I, I guess, from like I was 12, and I'm 17 now. But it was more like on and off. Like I was coming in for like summer, and you know, like just being a part of the summer camp. And then sometimes I would play in like the club, like my club stars volleyball club, like, I would play for those tournaments. And you know, like I just really took a turn and made it on the national team like about last year and ever since I've been playing professional for, yeah. Um, I started playing when I was younger, the summer camp, smaller clubs, school teams. And now I've been playing consistently for about three years or two and a half years, I'd say. What is the trick? Can you for a fight? And well, no, because no. I think the other day we had a short one where, where, where I think when the, she the, jumped, the, she the got captain, high the up. Like, that, that I, I can't remember her name, but I'm uh, Garrett. Garrett, yes, and uh, short, short eating, and they're like, <laughs> Benny's like, talent. Benny's talent. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Jump out the gym. <laughs> right? Uh, right? <laughs> it's, right. It's like, what, what's the secret no, for them? Imagine having this height and still could jump. We're, we're, we're going yeah. to, we're, we're going to win. We're going we to do going things to win. against those teams. <laughs> I love that. Right. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, progress, uh, expectations. Sure, yeah. Last year, you guys did a, an amazing job, yeah. right? Uh, so, what are the expectations for for this year's tournament? Well, for this, well, what we're expecting from other teams or from ourselves? Both? 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 Yeah. What, do, what do you... I mean, I don't, we, we know we're the better team, but then at the same time, like, these, these teams have yeah, also been great. training mm -hmm. and working, like, almost as hard as we do. So we're definitely not underestimating them, and we're, that's why we've been training so hard to prepare for teams like these, because you have teams like, um, I'd say, El Salvador, they're more like they will they're willing to fight for it to the very last point like they will they will grind up, like right? they won't let anything fall like they'll literally like give yeah. it their all but we're, we'll give it our all too so mm -hmm. you know they are teams that will be a bit challenging but we'll still handle that we're ready for when that. you guys are, are out there in the international um arena and you're seeing all of these other teams coming as i'm sure you have to watch some of the games as well right, right? Yeah. uh what do you think about the way that the other teams play in the sense of um, perhaps maybe that's a trick I could do or maybe you do you all also uh, give pointers to each other afterwards I understand that you all have to to be together in a, in a space in the court and off the court right. um, I would say I notice more like these teams some of the teams play faster mm -hmm. and when you play faster it, it kind of sets them at an advantage to you know like run more plays and communicate more and get more points and we play fast as well but sometimes like you know you have to be like super ready because they want the point and yeah. we want the point too but the most important thing would be to be ready play together and like communicate a lot a lot of communication on the court and everything will work well mm. how do you ensure that you're not defeated with a loss because sometimes the pressure comes on yeah, they have people that cheer on the next team and then they're like, all right, it gets into your head and then they're like, shucks, I'm not going to make it. Did we not do this? Like, how do you deal with those guys? Because I know sport is, it's not only physical, it's also mental. Very right. much. Right? How do you deal with that? What do you do? How do you guys deal with those things? The audience or the... Yourself, mentally, to make sure that you're in that space that, you know what, it doesn't matter, I'm going to continue, I'm not giving up. Yeah. Um, definitely knowing that you train for it, being prepared and being confident is a major, it's a big deal. And when you are on the court, the audience or whoever is in the stands, whatever the score is, that's not going to get to you if you're just really confident and you know what you train for and you know your abilities. Yeah, the part right there where she says about confidence, yes. right? Because you have to block out the white noise of everybody else yes, that's screaming right. around you. Mm -hmm. You just have to play this sport. How do you, how do you um, inspire? And I mean, you're an inspiration already, just being yeah. uh, in the in this game, in this team. Sorry, but 
what do you say to little girls out there that want to do this and and how do you motivate them to want to to, to continue on in this sport well i would say just try for your best mm -hmm. if you want the best for yourself you can get to where you want to be you don't have to count on anybody but yourself push yourself and show everyone what you can do well, um, I just, mm -hmm. in terms of, it's, it starts July 16th. Sunday. Sunday, mm -hmm. Belize is playing the days. third game, I believe, oh, right, yeah. against Panama. Right. And then, right along, right, talk to us about it, give us the schedule. Yeah, so we start this Sunday, right here. There, <clears throat> there are three games every day, starting mm -hmm. Sunday, uh, through to next Saturday. So it's, you know, every day there are matches, three matches a day. Uh, we play every day, 7.30, except on Tuesday. Mm. Uh, so opening night, Sunday, 7.30, match starts. 7 o'clock is the opening. And just for you to know, we start on time. You know, it, it starts 7.30 is the first serve. So you need to get there like at least half an hour before to be there, comfortable, got your drinks, make sure you're seated. Uh, or hollering, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like that. Doing, well, he knows. <laughs> doing, doing your thing. Um, Sunday, first match. I'm mm. um, against Panama. Mm -hmm. But Monday is a big match for us. Not, well, first we want to start off on the good foot, right? Mm -hmm. So we need the fans out there. We need everybody to come out, holla, do your thing like we did last year and every year before that. Show that Belizean fan base. Show that lots of Pride. energy. Come out. They do what we do. We know that Belizean fans, we are the best fans. Yeah. <laughs> right? We are the ones that do all the intimidation so, referees. We intimidate we next time. We think we could play volleyball. We know we could play volleyball, so we show next time. But Monday night is against the reigning champions, Costa Rica. So Monday night, people like stay home. But this Monday night, you'll be inside the Civic Center. Yeah. Right? Peter Come out. You. Come out, make sure they're there because we intend to beat Costa Rica. We, beat them before we, we need to them. make sure yeah. that they remember that in Belize they lose. We need to remind them that in the Civic Center they, they lose. lose. <laughs> and we need to remind them that the Belize fans will make them lose. So we need to make sure that we get everybody out there on Monday. Well, every night. Every but night we start night. with Sunday, big thing Monday, big game against Costa Rica. Choose every rest. But there will still be three matches, yeah. but not, in, not including Belize. Thursday against Honduras, I believe. Uh, uh, sorry, Wednesday, um, Honduras. Thursday, Nicaragua. Friday, Guatemala. Guatemala. Yeah, don't know everybody. Right. Make sure you land from a good day. Yes, right. everybody, 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 everybody. <laughs> Full at Civic Center. <laughs> Saturday, as the girls said, we're putting out our best, doing everything that we are um, on the podium. So it'll be fine. it will be the final match. And remember, this is a wrong robin. There's no playoff. Mm -hmm. So every match count, every point count as we experienced in 2018. Yeah. And so we expect everybody to come out just about every night. We have a special going on, buy five, get two free. This is prior to the tournament, right? So either you buy five tickets in, in, in one, one for one night, you get two extra free. Or if you buy for five different nights, you get the next two yeah. nights free. Uh, tickets are um, uh, $10 for general, general $20 for, for the reserve, $5 for kids. So we think it's an excellent, excellent. deal. Yeah, it's yes. a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. But um, come out. The girls have put in the work. Um, and I, 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 I don't want to start this trend, but maybe I am. Um, but we'll start by one of the players. It's payback. Remember Guatemala I beat remember, you last year? I remember. These girls played. So we want to make sure that this time Our we're revenge game. doing it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Except for Tuesday, I plan for be there every single night, okay? Yeah, so. Because it's Tuesday intense. Tuesday is the remix. You know, <laughs> uh, guys, I'm telling you, volleyball, if you want to see real sport and how great our Belizean athletes are, you need to come out to this volleyball. Mm, I agree, um, I'm telling you, it's... It's going to be great. Yeah. It's going to be one for the books, and it's going to be the revenge game of the season, so mm -hmm. you don't want to miss it. Get your tickets. Where can they find these tickets? Um, right at the ticket booth. booth at Civic Center. Yeah, at Civic Center. Center um, prior to tournament, it's going to be open 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. Beginning Sunday, it's open from 11, 11 a.m. until seven, on, yeah, in, in right. the game time, right? Nice. Well, uh, Mr. Sharp, ladies, thank you all so much for yeah. coming in this morning. And we know you're going to do 
the best that you can. You're going to bring it. So we well, are expecting great games from you all. And the fans will bring it. The fans will bring it. The fans will bring it. And we are holler till we can. Yeah, yeah, listen, guys. They, they look <laughs> our prim and proper here right now. Believe you me, when that game did, <laughs> that completely different person, <laughs> you are saying, the game face they yeah, are. I mean, uh, <laughs> well, ladies, thank you so much for coming in. And we wish you all the best of luck. Yeah. I know I don't have to get back to it and train, train, train some more. So we're going to let you go. Yeah. And we're going to take a break as well. And when we get back, it's all about the ice cream shop, shop and yeah. the new flavors that they mm. have. Stay tuned.